Hello and welcome to my Hearts of Iron 4 Saving Asia series. I will be playing as the three different types of Chinas, and I will be saving Asia with them, as well as forming them into their own unique superpowers. I hope you enjoy this video, as well as all of the interesting things that happened along the way. So the first China we're going to be playing as is the, uh, guess the big China. The one that was meant to be until this little guy decided to come in and fuck things up. Now, it's a pretty simple strategy. Actually, you don't... All you gotta do is just not make this cringe united front. Because that, that just ends in disaster. That's what the communists want. Gotta do the exact opposite and do the right side of the focus tree. Yeah, basically, once this focus is done, Shrek here is gonna go to each of the warlords' homes and basically say... Hey, you either join me... Or you're about to get a can of whoop ass. Oh, look at it. Refuses, 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 submits, refu- Holy shit. Yeah, see, when the game fucks you like that, that's just when I say restart. Because if the game's really rolling you that hard in 1936, I don't want to see what it's going to do in like two to three years. Refuses, submit, submit. Okay, see, that's what we want to see. Okay, I don't mind that. That's okay. We can easily kill these two. Ah, easy kill. I know in my test trials, Zabai here does never, or I should call him Desert Man. I don't know how to pronounce these Chinese words. Desert Man here doesn't really know how to defend his country properly. He usually leaves his capital wide open. He's probably the stupidest warlord of the five. As you see, he's keeping this capital wide open. I can guarantee he's about to leave this capital wide open. No, he has something to def- oh, oh. No. There. Now you do it. See? Told you he was a stupid warlord. Give me that. And that's the warlord. Hey, Shanks here. I'm gonna have to sacrifice you to the blood god here. Unless Communist China's too stupid to try to see through the gaps. Which they probably are. There we go. The lowering them out of the mound strategy works. Alright, I think I've got a pretty good solution for ending the Japanese's career here. I call it... The Anime Exterminators, only consisting of China's most elite troops. I have reached a breaking point with your anime bullshit. Bring it on, Japan. To be honest, people bitch about the UK all the time for its naval invasions, but I honestly believe Japan's a little bit worse. They are really fucking annoying. Now, luckily, I don't think they're going to be able to wait in Shanghai here, so... That is a... Bit of death for me, at least. Just gotta make sure they don't overrun me in the desert. The tedious thing about China is that you have to constantly micromanage everything because they have like, I don't know, 40 widths and you have 12 widths. Luckily over time, I'm pretty sure my anime killer units are gonna turn the tide here. Well, it's 1938 now, so I might as well give you a little update on what's happening. Basically, it's gotten a little easier. I don't have to micromanage anywhere near as hard. I mean, I still have to, but it's not as bad. They're still naval invading and getting completely destroyed. Just typical AI shenanigans. There you go, they lose the ports. So now we'll just completely destroy their whole career. We'll let them take this too, because then that'll just be another three divisions to completely end. And if we want to make things worse, which obviously I do, it's Japan. We can always do this war of resistance focus and get another 15% defense. Even their force attacks aren't working anymore. Oh look, you're winning a little bit. Let's fix that. <laughs> Get out of here. Look at that. They made this whole naval invasion. They abandoned this. Wow. Brilliant job. That is impressive how you managed to fuck that one up. Very well. Thanks for the land, I guess. And your extra divisions. Yeah, I figured since we're lacking a bit of support equipment, although ah, we got a surplus of it now, probably because we encircle all those guys. But I figure why not eat some of these 43,000 people we just circled. That probably isn't a very bad idea. You don't have these factories, and it feeds the troops. Mm, this port looks like it can be taken now. Let's see what the Japanese say. They, they agree. How sweet of them. Now they don't have supply here. That means we can deal even more damage than we just did. Last standing here is probably the biggest waste of command power you could have possibly done. Like, what is that going to do for you? That's literally useless. I, I don't see what the point of doing that is. You're still going to lose them, and it's just going to use more resources. Good job. 
lost a hundred thousand men, and you had the the audacity to waste a hundred fifty not a hundred fifty command power on that, buddy. I, you should just just pull out. The only thing is that these dumbasses don't have supply hubs for miles in Manchuko. So I have to go all the way to Muck Den to get anything. Hey, it looks like my new anime exterminators are about to be deployed. I wonder how they'll fare once these do happen. If they're gonna be so stupid and try to supply this like hell, try to keep that naval vision alive, you might as well go on a, some assaults for the capital here. Wow. <laughs> that wasn't so difficult, was it? No, get out of there. Get out. Thank you. Why well, do I have a feeling this is empty because they took out more troops for a naval invasion? Why does that just, just scream naval invasion in my head? What the hell did I say? <laughs> to be naval invading in a scenario like this. What are we doing? Well, now that our supply actually is decent, might as well um, just click the button and let the AI do the work for me. You're getting literally fucking manhandled, and this is all you have to say. This. And it- and it's seven to- oh my god. Oh no. Whatever will I do about this? Wait, what is that? Are those the enemy exterminator? If they want me to just fall over and say, I didn't even research in war artillery technology. They- they're just going, oh, just just the surrender. And when I- I don't know if I'm supposed to be just like, go like, oh, naval invasion. Oh. And just fall over and like die. Yeah, keep it coming. Boo, look at that. They are really showing me, boys. What the hell would I do about this? I, I'm, I'm in panic mode. They're using everything they have left. <laughs> oh no. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be able to take him out if they're going this hard. Holy. All right, I had to stop recording there because I'm gonna be honest. All of that marine is probably NSFW. So. I would just say now, at least you know they're all gone. How many divisions do you got now? <sighs> Four to nine. Four to nine. And the best part? Look who's research, baby. Got the paratroopers. Well, let's see what happens. Oh. Oh. I was about to give them credit because they didn't death stack Nagasaki like they're naval vein, but... Hiroshima's wide open. But yeah, there you go. That's Japan. Crush. How many divisions? Three to seven. I wonder where they all are. Maybe garrisoning the Pacific Islands. That would be a good street. Okay. Doesn't matter now because they're dead. So now I think we're going to do is kind of just consolidate our position here. We're going to get the divisions back. We're going to build up our supplies. We're going to hopefully annex our stupid warlord subjects here. And then we'll probably go to war with the Soviet Union and get some land from them. And there goes Senkai. And there goes shang -Chi. And there goes the Kleeg. Alright, I think it's time we kill this communist bastard. Get over here. Yeah, this is not a fun invasion. Basically, all I can do right now is just try to encircle in this Vladivostok area. I can't do anything else because of the red box syndrome that just keeps coming up in this damn game. You ever stop to wonder why your troops aren't getting supply? Well, um... Make sure you actually are using your railroads. That would probably help quite a bit. And let's finally open another front to this horrible war. Yeah, I'd say this front has gone far better than the other two I've had so far. At least we've pushed more than like five tiles. We might be able to take the capital. There you go. There's some progress if we can hold it. I said if we can hold it. Come on, I was so close to... St uh... Okay, hey, we might be able to hold it this time. <gasps> Oh my god, now you, you just have to connect it to- get supply into there. Please! We are bombing the shit out of them. Yes! Oh! Spend ages building these supply hubs and hopefully they actually pay off for something. I think they are. Yeah, they are really bad supply. You can- you can tell because- yeah. I shouldn't be winning that easily. So what I've noticed at this point, they're so close to capitulation, but apparently German, the German Reich has never managed to take Leningrad once, which is quite embarrassing. So I'm thinking about doing is trying to make a push here to connect our fronts 
and then demanding military access. After that, all we have to do is send a little army up here and just push. Sometimes you really gotta wonder what the hell the AI decides it's doing, cause... Uh. Well, we finally connected fronts. Not really what I was planning to, but I ran join the faction, so... It works. Look at that bombing. That bombing is single-handedly carrying the faction right now. The end of a five-year war is one tile away. No. <clears throat> Let me end the war. It's 1947. Done fighting you. Oh! That's a KO. Well, that peace treaty wasn't the greatest in the world. The Germans kind of stole Mongolia from me and turned them into a puppet. So I kind of stabbed at them back and I've uh, taken Moldova here, so. So I just converted to democracy because I thought it would complete the look. Public demands rearmament. I don't even need to... Fine. We're also just not gonna mention how India rose up from the fucking graveyard. It just appeared again, and now... Um, yeah. Now what we're gonna do instead of justifying war goals and letting the Germans know beforehand that we're gonna invade them, you just have to join the Allies. And then immediately... join their war. Look at that beautiful green. That green is... Beautiful. Within about three months of starting this war, I have the second most kills on the whole faction. Think, th think the other teammates need to start doing their fair share. Gotta love it when Germany is on uh, scraping the barrel and all they can muster is one million manpower. Something tells me I might be winning this really soon. Much sooner than I thought I would be. Maybe we won't have to play till John F. Kennedy's assassination. Stop reinforcing. Good job. Jesus Christ. Why are you scorched earthing, Russia? Where, where's the ones in the... We're, a, we're on the offensive and you're fucking scorched earthing them. How does that work? You, are you just sitting behind me as I push forward and lighting all my shit on fire? Is that why I have minus 68,000 infantry equipment? Wow, I can't believe Mustache Man was such a fool to allow me to do this. Falling for easy frontline... Button tactics. Oh, I must have ran them over so much they ditched their buddy I ran here. That's probably a mistake because I ran as a major when I last checked. Man, they really are trying to hide something here in Iraq. <laughs> they do not want me to touch Iraq one bit, in which case I'll, I won't find. I can happily confirm that after about three, four years, I have finally taken my first German province. Isn't that amazing? It's so great because now I get to fight the Germans with their core buffs. Yes! It's only gonna get funner from here. Imagine a world where the liberators of Warsaw are the Chinese. Poland only has a name in this universe because the Chinese came in. Asia saved their day. Alright, let's just take Berlin real quick. And about six years later... Oh. Okay, we got a cheesy win there, but six years later, we finally managed to uh, make the fear commit suicide. Technically, he's not going to die because this is Hearts of Iron 4. It's not really programmed for him to kill himself, but in our hearts, he's a dead man. Santa Claus has also rejoined the fight. That is a big development in the war. Santa Claus has joined the fight. You know how badly I want this war to end? This is the second day I've played, been playing on this save. I think in total, I've probably been, spent like 11 hours on it. Yeah, I'm not really too sure why this is happening, but for some reason, the game has stopped using my um, supply hubs that are actually on the front line. Instead, they're using the supply hubs way up here, which makes literally no sense to me whatsoever. Doesn't matter if we have no supply, we're taking this home. I ain't letting some bugs stop me today. Yeah, they may have been a little overmatched, but... I don't care. You know how much easier this would be if this glitch never existed? Look how close this war is to end. Both of them are like almost death. They both see, oh, oh yeah, there's that. They see quite a bright light there. This right here is the white light you see before death. Well, I don't know. See, what is, why isn't it using any of this? Now it's not even using the ones up here. It's just all over the fucking place. This supply system is hella weird. Did I? 
Ooh. I stole an armored train. Oh, doesn't matter. Guess I won't get to use the armored train. All right, this peace treaty is pretty disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened here. You're still, okay. The war isn't over yet. Oh! That's what we're talking about. There, now the world is at peace. And yeah, it's pretty disgusting. For some reason, the United Kingdom decided it would be a good idea to annex Estonia and not the other two Baltic nations. I wonder if that could result in some sort of revolutionary war at one point. And before you ask, yes, I did use some of my hard-earned points to get Aquitania out of this game. I was not letting that fucking thing come up. France deserves to be in one piece after the shit it suffered through. Wait a minute, that's what we were here to stop in the first place! Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the first part of my Saving Asia series. I will have two more parts coming out, probably in the next couple weeks or so. For the next one, I'm going to be doing the Red Hot Spicy Communist China. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on it. I'll see you then.